Hello, in this episode we're going to basically show you how we can um, have our two-dimensional drawings update our 3D parts, okay? Uh, in other words, we're going to show how you can have the bi-directional editing, whether you edit the part in 3D or 2D, where both files will update, okay? So, let's get started. The first one thing I'm going to do is create a 3D part that we can create our um, drawing from. And what I'm going to do is I want to make sure my constraints are set up. I want my uh, perpendicular horizontal vertical. Okay, that's good. You don't have to do this, but I just like to do that. So I, it's more predictability to it. All right, I'm going to just draw a quick polyline here. just lock these guys in here by just right clicking on all the blue implied constraints we can lock all right and let's uh, let's apply a horizontal to this as well okay oh and we'll put lock that one and lock that I'm just locking it so I know when I edit it I have predictable results okay so once you have that uh, in order to get when you create the drawing in order to have the drawing be able to update your 3d model you will have to apply um, dimensions all right so what by applying dimensions on the uh, sketches here in the 3d environment let me just leave that that's just it See, everything with a tick mark means these dimensions will be uh, transferred to the drawing as driving dimensions, okay? Um, so that being said, we'll just say finish. And we'll just drag this down. All right, we'll take, take perspective off. We'll look at it just so we can see it easier. And we're going to save this drawing. Save it. Save it as part one. And then we're going to create a new drawing. By the way, the bi-directional functionality only works with the drawing environment. It will not work with the cancer draft environment, just so you know. Maybe in a later date they will add that, but currently in 2014 it's uh, not in the cancer draft. Uh, all right, so we're in the typical IronCAD um, environment drawing environment I'm just going to apply some views and you see the drawing the dimensions come um, transferred over okay so now if you let's say we want to make this block uh, three inches long here this edge uh, you see when you hover over a dimension you get that double box over it that's indicating that this is a driving dimension back to the 3d part Okay, if you apply regular dimensions here now on the part like this, okay, you see when you hover over it, you're not getting those boxes. Those are just strict, strictly dimensions you added to the to the drawing, whereas these were added or driving dimensions back to the 3D with the boxes around it. All right, so if you right-click on it, you can say edit the dimension value change that to three okay then we want to go um, to our views and update all the views oh, sorry update all views oh that's uh, not gonna work because it's constrained up here so we have to remember this wasn't a constraining dimension so we have to uh, change this I'm just gonna make it dramatic say three here and now you see what happens because this wasn't uh, overly constrained in the 3D. So we updated the drawing here by editing this dimension. And if we go back to the 3D, you see it's been updated as well. And just to show you what I mean, see how these blue dimensions, those are not constraints. Only the red dimensions are constraints. Um, they just, we can delete those. So we don't confuse the issue. OK. 
okay and you see we got rid of those it tells that they're missing and we can just delete them we don't need them anymore all right and maybe we want to edit this one to one maybe edit this to two maybe edit this to 1.25 okay we have that we update all the views you see the drawing updates um, go back to the model and you see that updates as well okay so that's how you would set up the bi-directional capabilities between uh, RNCAD 3D environment and the RNCAD 2D environment. Okay, hope this helps you out.